Top of the character. One of Jim Henson's characters. That's the puppet Muppet maker. And he sings a couple of very popular songs. He talks like this sometimes. Do you know who I'm talking about? Do you happen to know Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Does anyone know Kermit the Frog? Yeah. What are some songs that Kermit the Frog sings? Hmm? Um, uh, it's not easy being green. It's not easy being green. green. It's, it's a wonderful song about what? About being yourself. What? About being happy about being yourself. And it's a kind of, we've talked about irony before. It's kind of an ironic song in that, have you ever heard of someone being green with envy? No. You've never heard that? Has anyone out here ever heard about someone being green with envy? Nope. There's, a, there's a phrase that Shakespeare actually uses twice. Once in Othello, where he actually references a green-eyed monster. And another time in The Merchant of Venice, where he says, green-eyed jealousy. And green used to be the color, used to have colors for all kinds of things. What's the, what's the color for cowardice? Uh, yellow. You don't go into western town and tell someone that they're yellow. And green was the color of jealousy. Do you know what it means to be jealous? Oh boy, do they know what jealousy is. Don't let their silence fool you. When Ben has, your to has a toy and you want it, what happens? You get jealous. You're jealous and you want to fight with it. And every time, whatever toy you have... Ben is always jealous of whatever you have in your hand, especially your bubble gum, apparently. Is, that a the, the, gum? is jealousy just a, a children's thing? No. No, they just told you. Do we get jealous as grown ups? Yes. That's what our packed full garages and sheds are all about, isn't it? All the things, all the, all the things. We have all kinds of stuff, and why do we have it? Because somebody else had it. We had to have it. Because we have it now, and you can't. Jealousy doesn't go away when you get older. And sometimes we think we're really good at hiding it. You know what? As easily as I see your jealousy, God sees all our jealousy even more easily. Because it's not something that's easily hid. It's like Shakespeare said, it's a green-eyed monster. And he said something else. And it eats at the meat of people. It just eats away at you. When you're jealous, when you're jealous about something, do you think about anything else? Oh, I really wish I had that. I've got to find a way to get that. And all the time you're thinking about, now why don't I have that? Could you be happy with someone else having what they have? And then you could be happy. Could you be happy with not having it yourself? Yeah, maybe you have something different. And different's okay. The Bible tells us time and time again, one of the commandments is, well, actually, it's a couple of the commandments. Thou shalt not. What is it? Covet thy anything that is thy neighbor's. So, before we all become green-eyed monsters, or even really cool frogs, <laughs> let us not become jealous and ask God for forgiveness for when we are. Let us pray. Lord, forgive us for being the envious, jealous, covetous monsters we sometimes are. When we want what you've given to somebody else, instead of celebrating what they have, Lord, teach us to share and have a spirit of sharing. 
so that everything we have is not something to keep and hoard for ourselves, but to rejoice in the joy of sharing, just as you, Lord, are the, the, the perfect sign of all joy, as you pour out abundantly your love on all people, that all may rejoice. This in Christ.